Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. I hope all of you are having a wonderful new comic book day. Um, my day was very tiring. I was very happy when it was over and I could actually leave, um, legally <laughs> leave. <with laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, was, I was very happy that it was over and I could come home. My ankle is absolutely killing me right now, so if I kind of wince a little bit, it's because of my ankle. Um, I don't know what I did to it. I think I'm... Let me head back. Let me rephrase that. I hurt it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm working on it and walking on it. It's just not a good idea, but I'm off tomorrow, so I am going to stay in bed and read, well... I'm going to have my brother come in and give me some comics to read. Um, I am I am getting close to being done with all those comics that I bought eight months ago, nine months ago. So I'm very happy about that. And I cannot wait to put them all in the boxes and store them away. All right. So we are doing a review of Dawn of DC Night Terrors issue number three. Now I know it's been a bit since I've done a Night Terrors review and I know there are people that have issues with this series and I get it. I think it was because they postponed a lot of the comic books that were coming out because of Night Terrors. Uh, so yeah, trust me, I've, I've watched the video, I know exactly. So, what is this issue about? Well, this is about um, Batman and Robin and Sandman. No, not the Endless. <laughs> um, and they're trying to get the Nightmare Stone so they can stop um, insomnia. And it starts off with um, Dead Man, like, you know, being in like a play kind of thing. Um, yeah. Got some of that. Uh, Alright, so I will say this. Um, this is, this is like, alright, so I want to, oh. I am not even making any sense, and I am not really super dead tired, but I'm not making any sense. So literally, they go and they draw as many horrific things in this comic book that they can legally get away with. And not that it's a um, bad thing. I think putting horror elements in your books are important. Um... Here's some more of that. And, yeah, it's, <laughs> it really made me, like, I was, I, without even reading the words that they're saying, I kind of was like, what, what the heck, what the heck are they doing in this comic? And I'm not saying that it makes the comic unreadable or that um, I don't like it. I mean, I do I do kind of like this issue. Um, but it was just... It was just bizarre. Like, you got people that don't even know how to r draw or write a horror comic doing this. Um, there's some of that. So, yeah, so, I'm just going to get back to the cover. So, what do you think about, um, about Night Terrors issue number three? It wasn't a super bad book, but it wasn't really great. It was like the I mean the first Night Terrors book was was good. I enjoyed it. The th the third one, the third forte into this is like what in the world did I just read here? 
And as I said, it doesn't mean it's a bad comic. It just makes me glad I'm not spending money for it. <laughs> I'm like, yes, great thing about digital comics on, on an app. I'm not paying for it. And I like it that way. Yeah. So, I have got to give this like two stars. It's, it's not, like I said, it's not... Uh, a really, 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 really bad comic. It's just a confusing comic and just one that I'm glad, once again, I am not spending my money for. So that is it for today or for right now. Um, I've got some videos um, that I don't know if I, if, I was, if I was supposed to upload them yesterday, but I will upload them today. And I'm still waiting on my comic book from uh, eBay. So, when that arrives, I will do a video. So, I'll see you guys then.